Hey you guys, I uh, got a, another um, how-to video here with trucking to help you guys out. This one's going to be about backing, um, correcting a setup, uh, correcting a bad setup when your trailer is tracking too much to the guy on your blind side. Uh, I, I did a recent another video recently where if the trailer is tracking too much to the side side, I showed uh, the setup correction that I used for that personally. This time I'm going to go over how to fix a set of, a bad setup that where the trailer tracks too wide, uh, basically, or you know, too much to the the spot that's on the blind side of the spot you're looking for. Assuming you're doing a regular sight side backing, right? So um, this one I just did uh, get, coming into this spot this morning, early this morning, and uh, show you the fix. All right. Um, let's see here. All right. Always been getting better and improving, but uh, we encourage. All right, yeah, I'll meet that. I'll, I'll speed it up till we get over here. All right, so something to note here: I'm going to be backing into this spot right here next to this guy right here. Um, something uh, you'll see when you get over here, the, because I went through the cat skill to get to the spot. And I had to make sure, wait for my tandems to get clear of these uh, yellow posts here. And not to mention there's a little bit of a drop off right there uh, before I could make my turn. Uh, that caused my tandems to end up a little further out in the lane than I wanted them to be. So that's ultimately a contributor to why I had to do the setup correction in the first place. Now uh, I'm going to do uh, two, two, two parts of this. One. Why did your setup end up too much to the sight side for I mean, to the blind side first? Okay, so what I mean here, uh, set up too much to the blind side. I'm gonna back into this spot right here, but the spot I really was tracking toward was this one here. That's a handicap spot. I can't park in it. Um, normally, if it was just any ordinary spot, and I'm tracking toward it, I'll just go ahead and back into that one instead. But since that's a handicap spot and the one I'm in is not, um, that's why I, I had to go with this one. Now, now I said there are a few different pro things here that to factor into why I ended up on the blind uh, set up too much to the blind side. On a normal uh, normal uh, lane, what I like to do personally is when my hood mirrors get lined up with this guy right here over on the driver's side of this guy's hood, that's when I start my right turn. Uh, and a tighter lane than this one, I wouldn't say it was tight, but it was not, um, I would say a little bit more narrow than standard, I guess. So I think I went a little bit further than normal, not to mention I knew my tandems were further out into the lane, so I had to account for that as well. So you know, if the tandems are further out in the lane or if your trailer's off tracking and uh, when you want it to be straight, uh, both of those, you gotta factor those into the your turn so if your trailer is already uh let's just say out here in the middle of the lane and you know and your tractors and basically if it's off to you the trailer's off track into the blind side when you're squared up with the lane um when you go to make your right turn the trailer is already gonna it's already biasing toward uh rotate more and roll less side so it means it's not gonna it's not gonna get as far down the lane as it normally, uh, as it would if you had a standard uh, setup with your tandems, uh, that, you know, with your trailer squared up with your your tractor. So you normally want to start your setup a little bit further down the lane than you would typically do, yeah, you know, with the same situation uh, between if your tandems are off track and versus um, if they're uh, if you're squared up. Now, if your tandems are off to this side. Yeah, if they're tracking toward, if they're off tracking toward the spot, when you start your turn, you can actually start a little bit earlier, because when you first start your right turn, you're going to take out the the trailer's rotation. It takes time to take its rotation out, and then uh, then once you start off tracking to the right, then the trailer will start changing its rotation, uh, its angle. All right, so so. Factor number one, where you do start your your setup turn at. Now the setup is the part where, you know, it's just the whole um, S turn part of when you're driving forward. Uh, that's So I want you to make that distinction between, you know, when you're driving forward and you're already past your spot and you're starting to make your turns, 
to set up the uh, for this 45 45 style backing that's your setup when you're actually backing the truck up that's the backing phase all right so i just want to make sure you understand that uh, distinction there all right so next uh, next thing I can factor into this is if, you're, if you pick a target over here to point at now yeah, um, if you get if you steer if you point at something too far to the right basically you cut off your you cut your trailer off from getting far enough down the lane uh, before you start yeah, before you get to where you have to steer back to the left uh, you know to, to get that to create that left off the sight side off track and get the trailer coming back the way you want it. Um, that'll also cause the trailer to uh, not get far enough down the lane and end up tracking toward the blind side. And that was exactly uh, a factor in my situation here. So, so far we got setting up, you know, start your setup turn too early, or, now it could be a, one or more combination of these. It doesn't, it could be one or, you, know, you could just, change any one of these things here and, or multiple things and they could all affect your how the outcome is on your setup all right so starting too early or starting your setup turn too early and then also um, picking a target that's too far to the right across the lane that's another one and then the, uh, the last one is how fast or slow you turn the steering wheel relative to how fast or slow you're moving your tractor or your truck so the faster you're moving the truck the faster you should steer so, and the slower you're going the, the slower you can turn the steering wheel um, if you have a normal spot and maybe you're a little bit just a little bit too far off but you have a like a, a, a set routine on how fast you're moving the truck when you're approaching your setup spot try um, try uh, steering a little bit slower uh, that's one option and I don't mean a lot slower I mean just a little bit take a, like half a second longer or something or a second longer or whatever to get from centered to your max uh, turn spot now it's either that or pick a spot that's you know, pick a target across the lane that's further left than what you've been doing now what I personally do I like to do is uh, I stop steering to the right and start steering straight when my trailer or actually, when when there's a large enough gap between my tractor and uh, the obstacles across the lane, you know, which is, could be other trucks or it could be a building or whatever else, um, anybody in my setup area, whoever's sticking out furthest, that's who I use as my my barrier. Uh, my and I create an imaginary line in front of them that I don't cross. But uh, okay, whatever the case, though, um, I want to be able to fit. The entire length of a trailer an imaginary trailer in the space between the front of my tractor and this imaginary line that I have drawn across the you know that the other side of the lane uh, so I know I have a, a lot of uh, times people have a hard time understanding that process but um, I know my trucking skills or Dave Crowley he's got some uh, yeah I know I've seen him do some videos before where he, you know, he he's a lot better with the video editing than I am um, he actually, you know, it has his drone view and he'd actually show you uh, uh, an actual line that he draws on his uh, illustration that's identical to the imaginary line that I like to use. Uh, he's a great resource, so, if you, uh, and I will, I will definitely advocate watching him if you want to learn backing as well. But, uh, alright, so, next, uh, now I picked, uh, like I said, I picked a target too far to the right there. Okay, so now when I come back, you're gonna see my trail, my tractor. I'm not steering. I'm just gonna keep going straight back. Reason why? Because if I steer hard right, what happens is the tandems get hung up out here in the middle of the lane. They don't get a chance to roll down toward the spot. Also, my tractor starts coming toward these guys over here, and I'll either jam myself up on those guys where I have no way to maneuver or I put myself at a higher risk of hitting one of those guys. So I like to do my backings like this. Just come straight back with the tractor, let the trailer do all of the work. Now, I already know right uh, right here already that my trailer is not gonna make my spot. That's all right. Um, I know that I'm gonna have to set a, uh, do a setup correction at this point. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm continuing to go straight back 
my goal here is to get the tandems further down this way and not in the middle of the lane. So yeah, actually it's two whole, uh, there's two, um, two parts of this. One is it gets the tandems further down the lane, you know, um, more toward my spot. The second, it creates, uh, it creates a larger trailer off track from my tractor. That way when I do actually do the, the setup correction, my trailer is going to have more of a desire to, to stay tighter in and uh, you know, over toward that side of the lane instead of um, basically still be too far out in the lane for me. Because yeah, if you don't do this first part here, you run the risk of when you do this three point of uh, this uh, this correction that I'm going to show you here, where yeah, it won't be effective. You know, you'll do this, you'll go through the motion, then you'll find that I still have the same problem. Okay, get the trailer further back into there. Now, this if you do this type of a setup correction, you'll probably make if there was somebody in that spot there and they're in their driver's seat, you'll probably make them nervous and worry that you're going to hit them. No, I. Uh, I know exactly where my trailer is going. I know exactly what it's going. At. It's looking like it's going to go toward. And if it comes down to that, I'll get out of my truck and let them know. Hey, uh, don't worry. I'm, I know my trailer is tracking right. To my, my trailer is going to track right toward you. Don't worry about it. I'm just trying to get my tandems deeper, so I can uh, so I can do a more effective setup correction. Okay, so I'm coming back as far as I can because there's no tractor there anyway. I can go ahead and get away with this now. Uh, as, you, as you saw, I'm pretty far, pretty wide there. I'm, I was tracking pretty right into that handicap spot. Okay, at this point, this is where I do the, set, the forward setup uh, correction. All three of these have a specific purpose to them. There's, a, it's a three-point serpentine maneuver. So hard left, hard left first. See, and I start pointing at these guys. I don't have to go like so, too tight. Just you know, somewhat like this kind of an angle. Well, usually is good enough. Now, doing this, you see it creates a larger off track between the tractor and the trailer. And by doing that, it keeps the tandems from rolling back out into the middle of the lane. And it'll keep them uh, tighter over there. And that's the, that's the primary function of this left turn. And I do my right turn. And I'm going to go back over toward these guys now. See, you can see me off tracking from the trailer in the other direction. And that's to create, um, to reintroduce the angle that I want the trailer to be at. Yeah, the more I, I can angle the trailer toward my spot, the easier it'll be to get into the spot. And then the last turn here, or left turn, to square up with the lane and to create the left off track or the sight side off track. And now I can just come straight back with the tractor. Don't do any, don't do anything to help it. Just let the trailer do its own work. Watch this. Just come straight back. You don't see me steering at all. It's just going straight back. Look what the trailer's doing. Okay, I, I, I make some little small micro adjustments there, and that's that's as much as, as you'll see me doing with uh, most of the time in these kind of situations. Okay, now you see the trailer is tracking a lot more nicely straight into my spot now, and then it's yeah, I, I'm just following and actually chasing the trailer in now. All right, and so you just. I mean, the rest of the way in, that's very simple. All right, so very, very simple setup correction. Get your tandems a little bit deeper into the lane first, if they're, if, because, you know, if your tandems are too far out in the lane, that's, uh, that's going to limit your ability to get in there easily. Let your tandems get deeper into the lane, and then do this three point serpentine, and then come straight back, and then just watch, watch it go right in. Uh, just practice, 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 right? It's, you're not going to get them all uh, perfectly right. I don't get them all perfectly right. But uh, this is a textbook, um, a textbook setup correction for this kind of a problem, right? And hope you guys learned something from this and um, help make your, uh, your own backings more effective. Uh, effective, uh, efficient, and safe. All right? That's all.